What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting 4 videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We're aiming for 20k subscribers and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and that's probably because you haven't hit the bell. Thank you again for all your support. We're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So we're just taking a look at Polygon here and as we can see, it does look as though it has got a decent pickup off those lows that we saw recently. You can obviously see that we come up, we have our big you know, rally after this massive downtrend we were in. We've obviously had that ABC correction in September where we found our double bottom. You can see like this, this W double bottom. And then since then, we've had a bit of a relief rally off the bottom, haven't we? Obviously, Polygon's rolled over for a little bit today. We've come down from around 132, down to around 121, getting a bit of a bounce right now at around 124. If we look at our hourly time frame, you can see what's happened. Basically, we've been getting a bit of a rollover for Bitcoin today. Although, if we check out the Bitcoin chart here, you can see quite clearly that it wasn't really much of a rollover at all. We had a bit of a rollover here, and we've actually fully recovered, coming back up to around that 50 one and a half K level now. And if that's the case and we break out of this level, you're gonna expect a pump for most cryptos, including Polygon. So taking a look at Polygon here, it looks like it has overreacted quite badly to what we saw with Bitcoin rolling over. You can see we come down, we've actually bounced on this previous swing low area, putting in a little bit of a range on the hourly time frame, looking something like this, where essentially if I can actually, you know, click correctly. Basically looking something like this, we come up testing resistance we come down again we test resistance we roll over looking for support we come down back down to around this area at that 120 level psychological support and this previous swing low after this uh, this uh, pump recently you can see actually this previous level of area of resistance here has actually been flipped into support here which is good to see and you'd probably expect to bounce from here with bitcoin heading up as well so polygon obviously it's easy to be bearish but overall we do think there is you know potentially putting in that macro Higher, high, and higher, low here. I've just realized I'm on the wrong chart. Hold on. There we go. I don't know how that happened. You can see potentially we're just putting in that macro higher, high, higher, low. And then if we do come up, make that higher, high, higher, low, we're going to be looking heading up to those all time highs pretty damn soon. Obviously, as you can see, just like with every single crypto, pretty much, we did have that falling wedge that we had throughout September. Basically, you know, the market's super bearish, the ABC correction. And then we found that double bottom at the bottom of the wedge where we reach the apex and then we get that breakout. We come back up to that previous level. A previous level of uh, support here in and around that 120 ish area which we did have a lot of support on here as you can see looks like we've come back inside this range looking something like this which is a range that we were in for quite a long time you can see we come up fake out we come down again fake out we come down we obviously ranging in this area we come down we double bottom outside the range and now we've come back inside it you'd probably expect the bottom of the range to act as support again and then head back up to the top of the range pretty soon so if we throw our fib retracement tool on here Looking something like this, you can obviously see some of the confluences here as well. Trying to hold these levels of support. The 618 was acting as resistance for a long while here. We've got the fake out, we come down. With 038 as support, we come back up onto the 050. We try and hold it as support. One last push to the 618, but we roll over. We come down, we've been chopping it up in and around the 038 here, getting really overextended to the downside. We've got bullish divergences. And then we do break that resistance there. Going into October, we get the pickup. And as you can see, we're just chopping it up in and around our EMAs right now, trying to reclaim them as support and flip them basically so that we can come back, bottom, bottom out, back test, and then head up back up to that 618 for another push. Cause it looks like every time that we've, you know, tried to push past the 618, we have got rejected or we've just basically rolled over. So really the next port of call is Polygon short term price prediction wise. We want it to come back down, retest support fully at around that 120 level, which it looks like it may be doing. If we look at our hourly time frame here, you can see we're coming down in, into this area here and we want to see that bounce really. Come back up and fully reclaim that 050 area, fully reclaim this area and then our, you know, our short term price prediction to the upside, heading up to that 618 really, coming in at around that 152 area, which we've been looking for for a good while, you know, at the top of this range you would say here. So basically Polygon looking good in our opinion, you know, these things take time and they're not, they're not always straightforward. So. We do think Polygon probably going to do very well. We do think Polygon's going to do very well going into the next, you know, four or five months for the remainder of the bull run. And as we said, we do think 
5 to $10 for Polygon, very, very likely indeed. That's only a 2 to 4x from the all-time high, which we reached very, very easily, really. And if you think once the volume starts coming back in, like it did here, because you can see the volume recently has been very low for Polygon. Once we do start to get that volume picking up like this, coming back up to these sorts of levels, you could easily imagine Polygon just having that rip up to some of these price targets we're looking for around 5 to $10. So that's it, guys. We'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with the four videos that we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalist.